Hello, I'm Dr. Tom, I'm a fireworks expert, and I'm here to answer this week's big question, which is from Reese in Cambridgeshire, and it's how are fireworks made? So a firework is really just lots of different chemical reactions going on. So to make colours, we add metal salts to the basic firework mix. So to get a red, we add strontium salts. To get a green, we add barium salts. To get yellow, we add sodium salts. And to get a blue, which is the most difficult firework colour of the lot, you add copper salts to the basic mix. So what we pack into the fireworks to make the effect in the sky are what are called stars. And there's a star. This happens to be one that will burn violet, and then when it gets towards the middle, it changes the composition and burns with silver sparks. It's about the size of a pea, and there will be hundreds of those within a firework shell. Black powder, or gunpowder as some people call it, is one of the key ingredients in making fireworks, and it's there for two purposes. Sometimes to produce gold sparks of long duration that flow down to the ground and make a very pretty visual effect, but more often as a propellant to shoot a shell into the sky or to be the motor of a rocket. Firework sounds like whistles and screeches are made from a different type of chemistry and what we do is we press a little tiny amount of this composition, our recipe, into the bottom of the tube and then the rest of the tube acts like an organ pipe to amplify the sound and make a really loud sound that you hear at the firework display. So this is a firework mortar. It's what's used to fire the fireworks up into the air. And on a barge for a big show, we'd have hundreds and hundreds of these together. And here's the shell that goes in it. The bottom part is where the black powder is that's going to propel the shell into the air. And the top half is the bit that's full of the stars that produces that big burst of color in the sky. 